ever wondered what would happen if you connect your brand new Nest Wi-Fi router to your existing router and whether the setup would pose any benefits? Well, I have done just that and I came to quite a few surprising conclusions. I will be detailing all my findings in this video. So welcome to Bling Bling, let's get started. I connected my Google Nest Wi-Fi to the router provided by my ISP or internet service provider using an ethernet cable and I've connected the ISP router to my model. The first conclusion that I came to is that you should subscribe to our YouTube channel for more smart home content. Now that you've successfully subscribed to us, let's move on to my list of pros and cons that I noticed with this setup. Two routers hardwired to the same modem are always better than one since you can have your router set up in different locations so that you get the maximum coverage possible. Now, hardwiring your Google Wi-Fi router to your existing router and expecting things to work flawlessly is not an ideal situation to be in. Having two routers attempting to perform a network address translation or NAT on the same network is not advisable as it can lead to issues such as IP address conflicts and infrequently performance issues as well. This is commonly referred to as double NAT. A double NAT can easily be prevented if you enable bridge mode on your primary router. Enabling bridge mode on your primary router basically disables the network address translation if a secondary router is detected, essentially making this a switch. This gets rid of the double NAT issue while also enhancing the coverage of your Wi-Fi system. But bridge mode is not a feature that's supported by all routers so you will have to check if your router is compatible. Enabling bridge mode also might restrict you access from router specific features like parental control, MAC address filtering and port forwarding to name a few. If you don't mind the double NAT issues and just want to connect your Google Wi-Fi to your existing router, you technically can but doing so will also mean that there are two separate Wi-Fi networks active at the same time which are not integrated. This means that the devices connected to one Wi-Fi will not be able to communicate with the devices from the other Wi-Fi network. If your router is indeed compatible with bridge mode, then you will have to surf around the router settings to enable bridge mode. To access your router settings, you will need a laptop or a phone that is connected to your router's Wi-Fi. I recommend you use a laptop as the web page layouts are easier to manage and navigate on a PC. The first thing that you need to do is to go to a web browser and type in 192.168.1.1. You will now be greeted with a web page, usually called the Router Gateway. Here, you should not be inputting your Wi-Fi credentials, instead you should add in your router credentials. There should be a sticker on your router that contains your router username and password. But if you can't find your router credentials, I will leave a website link in the description below where you can input your router's model and manufacturer name to get your router credentials. Once you input the correct credentials, you should be able to access your router settings. Now, to enable bridge mode, you will have to skim through the router settings yourself as the router gateways differ drastically depending on the brand and make of your router. If bridge mode is compatible, you should be able to find the setting under network or LAN settings. Now, if your sole intention of connecting your new Google Wi-Fi router to your existing router is to increase the coverage, then there is an alternative that I would like to talk about that will definitely enhance your Wi-Fi setup. Enter Google Nest Wi-Fi Point. This is basically a Wi-Fi extender for your Google Nest Wi-Fi that increases your Wi-Fi coverage by acting as an access point in a wireless mesh system. You can have multiple points connected to your same Wi-Fi router and your whole Google system can be controlled from the Google app on your phone. Google Nest Points also have speakers and microphones built in so that you can access your Google Assistant directly from your point. The Google Nest Point is an added investment, yes, but it works seamlessly with the Google Nest Wi-Fi router and Google offers both the Nest Wi-Fi router and the Nest Points in a combo pack which I'm sure you will find at discounted prices. And that's pretty much all my findings and possible alternatives to connecting your Google Wi-Fi router to an existing router. 
I have also linked a supporting article from our website blingbling.com for a more in-depth read. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more smart home content.